In this interview, I am thrilled to introduce you to Jacob Brent, who is working at JMU in the music theater department. He is a professor there. And previous to moving to Harrisonburg, he was a professional musical theater performer. So he was living in New York City. And we'll talk a little bit about that. And you'll get to see a little bit um, of some clips later on about what that's about. But for now, we get to hear what this whole thing is. So Jacob, we're so glad you're here. Could you just talk us through what these jobs mean? What is it that you do? Yeah, well, I am a mus well, I was a musical theater performer. Now I'm a musical theater teacher. And uh, my job was to be in a show every night on Broadway um, and entertain people that the tourist or whoever came to see the show and it was um that was really that was it. my job is was to sing and dance and entertain people and we all say oh well i never was there ever a cat so clever as a magic And now, I, now I'm an, um, an educator and I teach other people how to do that so that they can go off and, and uh, be in a show and, and bring um, joy and entertainment to other people. How did you know that you wanted to do this, this kind of work or when did you know? Um, I knew sort of early on in my life. Uh, my mom was a dancer. So that is how I started. Um, and so really just being around her and being able to um, know that this was a, this was a viable uh, industry and business to go into. Um, and it just made me so happy that I knew like, oh my gosh, if I can do this for a living for my life, that's what I wanted to do. So yes, that's, I, I knew sort of early on. Could you talk to us a little bit about what you found rewarding when you were primarily a performer? And now what do you find rewarding as a teacher? Oh, that, that's so easy and, and fun. So I, as a performer, I loved being on stage. I love the community that happened in the theater. Um, and that's that community between what's happening on stage and the audience. So just to be able to be in a room with um, our theater set 1500 people, so that 1500 people and um, to be in that space every night with people to be able to have a shared experience together to really bring us together and we and you know for two hours we had a commonality about each other there was nothing that separated us and made us different is that we were all having the same shared experience so for me that was the most rewarding to have and um you know and there are times when it's fun to sign autographs and like be a celebrity and get your picture taken and have people um excited that they're meeting you and all of that 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 is really fun but for me the most rewarding i think is the work and actually having that um being able to bring joy and uh entertain people and 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 have that shared experience now as an educator my the thing that brings me the joy the most is seeing really other people take this on and be able to like uh, fly fly away once they graduate and do the thing that they love. Mm -hmm. And um, and that if I had a little part in that of, of helping them along the way, then, then that's very rewarding. And it's true that you were in a very, very famous show. So you did have opportunity to sign autographs and be a celebrity because you were in the musical Cats. I but, was. That's but right. But I like how you're saying that it, it was even more than, than being a celebrity. Just the process of being up on stage and performing is so rewarding. It's, it's not as glamorous as people think it is. But there are moments that are pretty glamorous. And it's really fun when those mm -hmm. happen. And you just have to be able to 
you know, savor those moments and really be thankful for that moment and be able to recognize that um, the it, it's a privilege to be there and a responsibility as well. True. So what's the flip side of being a performer? What is not so rewarding or what's really- Oh my gosh. Um, I think the, the downside is like the ups and downs of like really like there's really highs and there's really lows. And so it's just being able to like, take care of yourself and know like where you are on your journey and and not try to get down you know just it's just that feeling of like oh my gosh someone else is getting a part and i didn't get it and um you know i'll never get a part which is not true you know it just some days are not your day and that's fine and that's 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 totally fine and some days are your day so it's just dealing with that right you have to have a good sense of self Yes, absolutely. Which leads us really smoothly into my last question is, what if somebody wants to, they really like performing, they like being on stage and they'd like, they'd like to do that job. What are some things to do to get ready? So when I was that age, um, what helped me is just watching everything I could um, and studying the, the greats sort of like I, I watched Gene Kelly movies and Fred Astaire movies and I wanted to be them and and it's so great like there's Hamilton now that's available to see so that's awesome like study that uh, there's a lot of other Broadway stuff on YouTube there's there's tons of stuff out there that's accessible and so I would just say you know if you can get you know not everybody can have a voice teacher or a dance class or you know do all those things and and if you can that's that's awesome but if you can't there's so much available to be able to watch and study i mean even studying you know beyonce as like not just loving what she's doing but really like breaking it down and seeing how she's doing that i think that was my thing is i always tried to like look at a performer and then copy but also break down like how were they doing that um so I, I think I was a student early on. So for me, it's just like being a student of this work and just absorbing everything around you. Don't just sit in front of Netflix for nothing. Like, study it. Pay attention. Pay attention. That's right. Well, we all love to watch videos, so that's some really great advice. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you, Angie. And I was, hopefully I'll meet your kids at some point. That would be great. That's awesome.